Thank you, Michaela. Day two of former President Donald Trump's civil trial is underway in New York. Prosecutors are accusing him of inflating the value of his net worth and assets. Naomi Ruckham has more. We did nothing wrong. Former President Donald Trump was defiant outside a New York courtroom yesterday, railing against New York Attorney General Letitia James. The Attorney General of this state is a disgrace. Letitia James is a disgrace. He's a disgrace. And the civil case her office brought against him, the Trump Organization, and his two eldest sons. There's no case here. There's no victim. Trump is accused of misrepresenting his net worth by over three and a half billion dollars, claiming his Trump tax our penthouse was nearly three times its size and valuing Mar-a-Lago as high as $739 million, though it was actually assessed to be worth roughly $28 million. Prosecutors are seeking $250 million and a slew of sanctions that could make it harder for Trump to do business in New York. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. The judge in the case ruled last week that Trump, his eldest sons, and business had committed fraud. Yesterday, Trump lashed out against him, too. This judge should be disbarred. He shouldn't be allowed to be a judge. Trump's legal team is arguing the numbers were estimates, not absolutes. And they say a key prosecution witness, former Trump fixer Michael Cohen, is a, quote, serial liar. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News.